What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Kayla and welcome to today's video. I'm powered by Sebum Savage Secret Stuff. This stuff is so good. I haven't even finished it all the way and I'm already like super pumped and excited. We are hitting quads today. I did three sets of hamstring curls to get my knees warmed up and I am noticing like a little bit less knee clicketing clacketing. I just did one set of pendulum squats and we're about to work first working sets. I've been dreaming about quad day for quite some time. I'm ready to hit a very good quad day today, so let's get into it. I'm actually gonna take off my shoes. Sometimes I have not necessarily a rational fear, but I feel like there's not good grip without my shoes on, but for this one, it's actually kind of hitting. So we're gonna do this. I haven't hit pendulums in so long. As y'all know, I've been loving this machine down there, which is the Watson squat, but I'm like thinking about hitting pendulums all week. So we're gonna do that right now. It's so lightweight, baby. I'm feeling good. Like, those pendulums hit really good. And I think it was because I warmed up properly, shocker. I warmed up with some actual hip mobility, which I normally do. And then I did some like knee strengthening exercises, which is where I'm standing like on elevated box, doing like this heel touch thing. And then I also did three sets of hamstring curls. And I think that really helped like get the knee loose. Normally when I squat, I will warm up with hamstring curls, at least like one set. So if you're ever like feeling knee pain or you have some trouble with your knee when you're squatting, I recommend trying out starting with hamstring curls. There are still some knee clicks, but that's just the way my body is. I think. I'm gonna go up for two plates. So let's get into our next working set. All right, I got four plates and a quarter. <laughs> two plates on the bar or on the machine. Let's go, this is lightweight. I've done this weight before, so it's nothing new. I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. Let's go, come on, let's go. That sucked. That was so lame. I'm gonna do a drop set. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done for the night. We got a quad focus split squat different from the regular Bulgarians that I do because my rear foot is not going to be elevated and it's going to just be stationary on the floor. I did this last week and I did it with another plate right here for more of a deficit, but look, that was kind of just causing me to have more imbalance. I was like tripping a little and it's not that big of a deficit. So I'm just going to have my feet planted on the floor instead of another plate. So it's going to be a lot more quad focus. So we're going to have this heel elevated and then we're going to push forward knee over toe to get more quad focus oh my god it's a really good burn i really like this one i did last week so let's try it out again actually i'm just gonna try, actually what i just said i'm gonna just keep myself straight up instead of putting my knees over toes that feels a little bit better i'm really not a shoes off girly 
So you can probably tell, but try it. Oh! Yeah, that felt better. I went up. We're gonna go head to 10 for my last set. So we're gonna try for eight, maybe. Let's do it. I did 11, so that just happened. If I go up again, I'm definitely gonna need to use my straps or wraps. I feel like I interchangeably use the terms straps and wraps, but they're two different things. Grip sometimes. Okay, so next up we have sumo squats. These are great for overall leg development. They're especially gonna hit those inner thighs as well. So let's get into it. We're gonna do three sets. I'm gonna try to go slow here. I noticed on my single leg squats, I wasn't going super slow. So let's try to hit tempo. Uh, it kind of slipped out of my hand just there. <sighs> Too much less. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit violent, so we're gonna do a superset for our last exercise. I'm gonna do leg extension superset into walking weighted lunges, and the rep range is gonna be crazy. So let's just get into it. One more set, one more super set. I did as many reps as possible with my leg extension, but I'm gonna go up again. Let's do it, last set, best set.
Brutal. Okay, next up we're gonna hit some calves. I'm doing standing Smith machine deficit calf raises and then I'm gonna superset it with some calf press. I already did my first working set, so I'm gonna do two more sets of these and then I'm done, so. The struggle of trying to grow your crabs is crazy. All right, beautiful people, that is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this workout. It was definitely a brutal one filled with lots of energy, which is just what I needed after the day that I've had. So if you made it to the end of the video, this is your sign to push some weight and do some supersets and have a nice, brutal leg sesh because that's just what you need for the gain. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and join my community on here. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.